Rangers starting 6-0 on the year, the baseball team hit a roadblock against a tough Shawnee Mission East team last Wednesday. Jared Coker has the recap. Last week, the Raven varsity baseball team traveled to Shawnee Mission East. The Ravens came into this game with a 6-0 record looking for win number seven. Mason Green was starting on the mound for the Ravens. Weston Davis helped out the Ravens with some good base running. However, the Ravens struggled to put runs on the board and the Shawnee Mission East offense was too strong. The Ravens fought hard but suffered their first loss of the season by a score of 12-2. For OW Now, this has been Jared Coker. Now back to the desk. Since the Shawnee Mission East game, the team fell to free state, but bounced back with a 13-1 blowout win over Shawnee Mission North. Zach Clay picked up the win with offensive support coming from Brady Slavens in the form of a grand slam, giving, giving him his second home run of the year, making him tied for the team, team lead in home runs with Reed Seacat. The Raven track team continued to surge through competitions after dominating the Shawnee Mission West invite. The girls took first place as the boys put on another strong performance. Julian Lacey, Nate Os and Nate Oswald led the boys team with their first place finishes while Audrey Fisher, Delaney Schaefer finished first in two competitions each, leading the Ravens to victory. Last week, the girls swim team took it to the pool in a duel against Blue Valley Northwest. Alex Gable brings you the highlights. It was a battle in Northwest, Olathe versus Blue Valley. The ladies competed in several swimming and diving events, multiple swimmers qualifying for state, with Maddie Fensman taking the gold in diving, 200 free relay taking first, Gracie Hebert crushed the 100 fly, and Lauren Pugh dominated in the 100 breast. For Game of the this is Alex Cable. Back to you guys. Congratulations to the varsity softball team on their dominant performance against Leavenworth, winning 11-0. That's all we have for you this week on game day. Let's take it back to the desk.